items do I build on Kindred or is it the same? Trinity build is still the best build for Kindred. Because on hit builds have just been better for Kindred for years, but people have been fixing it on crit and Trinity just makes is just kind of replacing what Kraken was for the web build last season. But overall, um Yeah, Trinity build is just really, really, really good. Crit builds aren't really worth it, but I'm gonna build crit this game because again I'm kind of bored of doing the same build, so I'm doing something different. Yeah, you know, I don't normally full clear because Kindred's got a really strong level 3 and you can normally get a really good level 3 gank or invade off. But I'm going to just hit level 3 clear. Or level 3, level uh, 4 full clear. Because why not? Do something a bit different. I definitely prefer though going for the early on ganks, especially against champions. I know I can kill early like Shaco and things, but it'll be fine. Warframe made a rogue fight game mode. Team fair enough. I like again. I like Warframe. I just have no desire to play that game until they actually add something to end game because it gets really boring to just do like survivals and things until you're bored. Because once you have end game builds, it's just dull. What's a game passive? Do you mean like how many marks should you have? I mean, there's not really an average number of marks you can because every game is different. Some games, the enemies just deny your marks and you can't get a good gank off and some games you can. I mean, you should try if you can without killing yourself and like inting and things. If you can, you should try to get at least four marks by the time team fighting happens because the fourth mark is the most important compared to any other mark in the game. But again, there's no way to really guarantee that you're going to have a certain amount of marks at a certain time. If you don't know why the fourth mark is the most important mark either, the fourth mark is the only mark that actually gives you like a very large range increase. The fourth mark gives, like, the fourth mark gives you 75 extra range, whereas every other um, threshold will only give you 25 extra range. So like at four marks you go from 500 to 575 but at seven marks you only go from 575 to 600 so the fourth mark is the most important and everywhere lamb went. to follow I have no That was a free first blood for me again. I'll take it. Hopefully, uh, same. Let's we use it then. goes off well the thing about trinity is trinity is really really good and it's it, like it's incredibly good but it doesn't feel the same as even like last season when doing uh when doing kraken with cleaver and stuff which is still better even though people were fixated on pull crit builds even then kraken gave more damage than trinity did this season because kraken gave you 65 ad on top of the most attack speed out of any crit item then it also gave you the crit but it also did true damage so it kind of feels off even compared to last season because it does less overall. What build am I doing? Uh, I'm going to do Collector first, actually, because somebody said that last game and I want to do it for funsies. Um, but yeah, overall, it's like it's less overall upfront damage, but it's more consistent damage with the Sheen and like the extra stacking AD and stuff. Like, it's a really, really good build, but obviously it's not what people are used to, and it's a little bit worse than it used to be, but that's kind of the point, is because that's why Kraken is no longer a mythic in the first place, because it was way too fucking good, you know? So, I mean, it makes sense that it feels a little bit more off than what it did, but still an incredibly good build.
Also, like, well, okay, well, she stayed until she died. That's unfortunate. But also, uh, with, with that build too, like with the last season build with uh, Kraken and Wits and Cleaver, also it was a lot better with that build than it is with uh, Trinity. Because again, the Trinity built incredibly strong here, incredibly tanky and stuff. But with the uh, with the Kraken when it was a mythic, you were getting true damage and magic damage and the armor pen from Cleaver. So you literally had all kinds of all three types of damage on top of having all three types of damage. You also had the pen from Cleaver. So you kind of just shred everything back then, which was kind of fun. It was really not fair, but it was fun. All things great and small. One reason why New Kraken feels so much worse is because obviously Old Kraken was doing true damage, but now New Kraken, people see big damage number and they're like, but it could do 200 damage. It's like, yeah, it's also physical damage. And uh, if you don't have a pen item, that 200 physical damage gets reduced very heavily, very quick. And when it only works once every third auto, that goes bye-bye very fast. Bro, you don't have to force this fight. I'm sorry, I would rather get Dragon. Dragon is more important to me than forcing going in right now. I mean, to be fair, Vayne, with the buffs she got after the Mythic changes, is still really solid. I play a lot of Vayne off-stream because Vayne's fun. The Vayne Q-Max build with Essence Reaver and, like, Lethality Mythic is so fucking fun because your Q's literally half health squishies. <laughs> you just Q auto with Essence Reaver and the Lethality Mythic and you just half health somebody instantly. I, I might I might murder my, my support a few times, but it's fine. An enemy has been slain. Okay, your Shiv is broken. Almost anything that builds Shiv is broken is because Shiv itself is broken because the iteration of Shiv they added to the game is really toxic. Because before like the old Shiv before it was removed it had a crit ratio and it could crit, although they removed that towards the end. But it didn't give AD and stuff. And then for some reason, they people wanted Shiv back, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I wanted Shiv back. Shiv's a really fun item. But for some reason, Riot decided to riot it. And instead of just bringing back the zeal item that everybody liked, they were like, all right, hear us out. What if we give it a bunch of AD, a bunch of attacks, we give it extra damage to minions. It also scales with AP. Oh, it also does the magic damage. Oh, but wait, there's more. It also builds out a noon quiver, which is what you're really going to want for clearing anyways for the first item. They, they kind of literally just said, but wait, there's more when they re-added Shiv for some reason. And I don't really know why, but they were just like, but wait. They, they really rioted it. Oh, I'm out. They laugh and scream and dance and flee. I, I, yeah, the ADC item changes were weird. That's all I'm saying. It does more damage on a proc than any of the other proc items. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird. And how it makes Navori look bad. I mean, Navori is still a solid item. Navori, though, is a toxic item because when Navori is viable, it's just like Sojin and it's just like Essence Reaver in Season 8 before they changed it. When the items that reduce your basic ability cooldowns as excessively as they do are strong, they warp the game around them. Because there's champions that build it that aren't supposed to have super short cooldowns and the balance around them is supposed to be their longer cooldowns in exchange for their damage. But then you get things like that, then you have Zaya being really broken and forcefully nerfed because when turns out when her cooldowns don't exist, the champion's extremely unfair. <laughs> All your life has led to this moment. How does hunger feel? Always fair.
You know, I really thought Vex was going to press R. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely thought she would press R and come to me, considering I was right here and she was farming in mid, but... Tight. Happens. The West and weave of fate died. The hunt is back on. That's pain. You hate Shaco. I'd rather play against Shaco than, like, any of the new champs. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, Goto. How you doing? Like, I'd rather play against Shaco than shit like Kane and, like, Viego and all those champs. I'd rather play against Shaco any day. Wolf chases. Oh, any day I'd rather play against uh, Shaco than Shakiri. You doing good? That's good. That's good. Oh, I got shameless plug too since I since I said I need to record a video and I wanted to do a crypto player video and this game's going well. So if this does make it on YouTube, uh, you know, anybody who watches at this point should like the damn video because I'd appreciate it. And comment. And follow my Twitch in the description. Because I need a video today anyway, so shameless plug yo. It's fine, I don't need my Vex to press R. I don't need her ult. I don't need my mid laner. Oh shit, I'm dead! Well, oh, he missed his ult, but he queued me. If he didn't queue me, I actually would have killed him there with my PTA proc from the third auto, too. Sad. Or if Shaco didn't need me. Broken stealth mechanics? But I don't think Shaco's stealth is broken. What makes it broken? Being. Being annoying and broken are two different things. What makes it broken? It's... His W is delayed does a, and has no damage in the front fight. His E is a missing health ratio, so he can't really start a fight with it. His ult itself doesn't do any damage in clones, and you have to... And it's very easy to tell the difference between the two. His Q lets him reposition and gives him a bit of extra damage if he backstabs you. Chico's kit exactly isn't exactly broken. Disliking it doesn't make it broken. I'm gonna be honest here with you. I'm kind of ignoring marks this game, but that's not really going to matter too much. More or less, it's getting gold, and golden items will still always be more important than getting marks. Marks are obviously valuable, but golden items will always do more in the long run. Because I can have extra range, but if I have extra range and no items, no gold, it doesn't matter. Hey. Or... I might actually be able to get to that break in time. No, close. I should have been there a bit faster, but I thought we were going to give that. I didn't think we were going to force the fight over here. I'm not gonna lie, that's the only reason I didn't run down here faster. I did not think Jax was still here. Are we forcing this? Yeah. Oh, I ordered the wrong one. I ordered the wrong one. Pike was in the bush on top of him. <laughs> it's fine, though. Pike's also dead. Actually, I get the assist off of Pike because I ordered the wrong one, so you know what? I'll take it. Because I also got the kill on her. How is it possible that my Vex has her ult on cooldown? Hey, hey, hey. Alright, she used her ult eventually. Alright, it's fine. She eventually used it. Shaco can't be detected by Pink Ward for some reason because that would completely invalidate Shaco as a champion. Not every champion needs to have camouflage. Some champions have camouflage because if they had full stealth, it would be incredibly broken with the rest of their kit, where other champions have full stealth because 
full stealth makes their kit actually viable. Like, the only champions with camouflage really are, like, what? Auction, Pike, Evelyn, Atima stealth, I know that. And it's Auction, Evelyn, Rengar, and Pike, I think. And Twitch, yeah, and Twitch. Kiana, no, Kiana has stealth. Kiana is, is stealth, not, uh... Not, a uh, camouflage. If Kiana's a camouflage, she would be less annoying, but it would also be entirely worthless because she can only be stealth in that tiny little area anyways. So it would make it entirely worthless. The champions with camouflage tend to have kits that are already really good, and the stealth is just a small part of the kit. The champions whose kits aren't exactly all that good, and they're mainly about mind games and playing around their stealth, are the ones with the stealth, like actual real stealth. Shaco needs his stealth, because if he only had camouflage, the champion would be horrible and, like, unplayable. Only to find us sooner. Okay, I just crit like three fucking times in a row right there, and I don't even have a lot of crit. Like, where's that RNG when I'm fighting champions, bro? That's what I need right there, is that RNG when fighting champions. This account right now is mid MO. My highest rank is D2. I am not a challenger player if you're looking for a challenger player. I am just some idiot who plays too much fucking league. Garen's gonna get jumped on by like three people. I don't wanna die before Drake. Okay, I'm gonna get that all set off, but it's fine. Are we forcing this though? I don't think we force this because if we die before Drake, it's not worth it. It's the clones, the real ones over there, yeah. Oh, Gaki, how you doing? The crit RNG system is poorly working. I mean, well, it's genuinely exactly what it says. It's RNG. 20% crit is a 1 in 5 chance to crit. It doesn't mean, though, that you can't crit four times in a row, although apparently that's confusing to some people, and I had somebody try to tell me that 20% to crit isn't a 1 in 5 chance. It's just based on your luck, and it's just like, that's, that's still a 1 in 5 chance, but, you know. I mean, if you, I mean, technically, yeah, if Callista could do a lot of damage, no matter what she built, if you let her stack her spears a million times, but I mean, if you let Callista stack spears like that, it's kind of on you, you know? Well, that's just got murdered. I, not, 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 not gonna say anything to her. 
I was gonna I was gonna be petty as fuck and say, hey, maybe press R next time then. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it to her. Not 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 gonna say anything. Fine. What up, Sailor? How you doing? Your cat is in your bed, so you're good, but you're tired because of a long day. So cuddle the cat and sleep. I mean, hey, some games you got that look, other games, well, the universe tells you that you're not worth it, you know? It's just, it's the way it be. Hi Pike. Hi Pike. Trying to come ward my jingle jangle. I know you got another ward. Um, it's the jingle jangle. Oh, they're keeping in here. Oh, that's castle. I definitely did not fail my Q over the wall there. I swear. I would never. He didn't die. Double kill. You know, one thing I've learned though from a lot of playing with a lot of new people in League, people are really bad at stealing kills from Zonyas. Hey, chat, you what the hell? You, you, you guys want to know a, a, a trick to steal kills easier with Zonyas? Oh my god, I'm filling all my cues. Stand on top of the person in Zonyas because, uh, you know, the less travel time for your auto, the easier way to, the, the quicker you're going to hit them out of Zonyas. Wait, why didn't I Gale Force? Oh, I didn't Gale Force because my Gale Force is on the wrong, but that explains a lot. My Gale Force is on the wrong key. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't get him. I got I got an ult here. No. I got helicopter dick. No. Jack's helicopter dick me. I, I messed up. I got helicoptered. A summoner has disconnected. I went team in DC. Is that Jangles? That was Jangles. God damn it, Jangles. A summoner has reconnected. Frickin' Rakan. DC. You're very good at stealing kills from Zanyas. It's very funny. Look, look, just remember. If your team really wanted to kill that bad, they should have made sure that you didn't last at it, you know? If you think about it, is it really your fault in the long run? Thank you for pulling me over at the wall pike. I appreciate it, friend. But, like, is it really your fault? Like, if they wanted the kill, why didn't they hit it? It's like, you know... 
<laughs> like it, it, it's just like uh it's just like at valorant though you know if somebody if you take some of these ace was it ever really their ace like if they really wanted the ace why didn't they shoot them faster you know They aren't worthy of the ace. Exactly, bro. Like, it's just like the 9,000 4Ks I've gotten in the last, like, three days. Is it really my teammate's fault? No. Do I still hate the fucking Sky players who keep flashing me or last hitting my ace? Yes. Do they deserve to be cunt punched? Yes. But it's still not my fault. I mean, not their fault. About Brim. The only time I ever complain about Brim Stim Dev is the fact that I hate when I don't know I touched one because then I start shooting that fucking three times the goddamn fire rate and I'm like, why am I shooting so fast? It's jarring, okay? It's fucking jarring. When you're used to one thing and then all of a sudden your teammates are like, but hey, have you tried crack cocaine? He's like, no! So wait, not me. Exactly. That's what it feels like when it comes to fucking Brim. <laughs> like, God damn it, Brim. Stop throwing stims at me. I don't want your help. Also, stop smoking off the angle I'm holding. You know what? I just, just, just go away, Brim. That, that's my answer in Valorant. It's just Brim needs to go away. The only good part about Brimstone is, you know, he got them cheats. Decent game. We again. Words, words, since I'll probably upload this to YouTube, you people who do you. watch to the end, you, you should like and comment and sub because they all help. And yes, comments do help a lot, even if it's your favorite fruit. So, good like, comment, and all that. I just appreciate it. Oh, hang on, chain scene. There we go. We did the third most damage. We take those. God damn, Garen was so fat. Holy. Here's runes for people who want to see them too. It's uh, press the attack, triumph, alacrity, last stand, sudden impact, and ingenious hunter to put Gale Force on a lower cooldown. No, it's not a meta build. No, you shouldn't do it every game. I just wanted to do crit build for fun. 